In this video, we will take a look at using the remote control to control the VB130 camera. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, so you're going to notice as I use the remote control and press that upper right hand corner button that says audio tracking, we'll cycle through the various audio tracking modes. So let's get started. Audio tracking, you notice that it zooms in and tracks and follows me wherever I'm at. Now there is another mode here, so all I need to do is press and hold the button once again. Audio frame. Now here's the difference. You notice with audio frame, it jumps and centers me immediately. One more time, we'll be over here. Let's go to the next mode. Press and hold the button. Audio preset. Audio preset number one. This is great if you're going to be using any type of a teacher science desk or a podium. So I wanted to zoom in on that area where it hears my voice. So for another example, if I walk over to my next area and I'm talking, it should jump over to my preset number two. Now presets are very, very easy to set up. So let me show you how to set up a preset really quick. As an example, if I want this to be preset number eight, I would just go ahead and press and hold the number eight. As an example, we'll do that right now. And you see that it says save preset number eight. So it's that easy. Now let's move on to the next. Press and hold the audio tracking button again. And we go into a presentation mode. Presentation mode is a combination of using the auto tracking or audio tracking plus the preset. But in all or most circumstances, you can use either or, meaning you can use the audio tracking or you can use the preset. Next, let's go ahead and press the button. Fence. What audio fence means and what it does is anything within the field of view that you see right now is where it's going to pick up or hear the audio. Anything outside of that area, it will mute or silence that audio or sound. So a perfect example of this is if you know that there's going to be some sort of construction or noise outside of the classroom, go ahead and set this up and turn it on. Now you can adjust this in three different increments from a wide, which is about 120 degree field of view, to a medium, which is about 90, and then to a narrow field of view, which is approximately 45 to 50 degrees. And this is what we have it set up right now. Now in order to change that, you actually have to go into the PTZ2 app in order to make the change. So you'll see that in the next video. All right, so let's move on to the next tracking mode. Press and hold the button again in the upper right hand corner and we are off. So now you've gone through all the different various tracking modes. I did mention in the upper left hand corner, we have smart frame. So if I press and hold the smart frame button for one to one and a half seconds, you see it's manual framing. What that means is that I will actually zoom in, zoom out, pan, tilt, scan manually. If I want to have this set automatic, I press and hold the button again for about one second. Auto framing. So what that means is you just saw it. It automatically frames, not by voice, but by what it sees within the picture or within the field of view. So it's all my assistant, Buddy. So we have Buddy and myself right here. And so it zoomed in and framed on us. Now, if I was to walk out, you notice it says, oh, there's more of a gap or more of a space, or perhaps there are more people here. So it widens the field of view. I go out again and the same thing. So this does it automatically. So what happens if many people leave and we're back down to just two people in, in that room? it narrows it right back down to focus in on the two people. This works fantastic in a boardroom situation and it also works within a classroom. So that's it for using the remote control to control your VB130 camera. Thanks.